Here we have the newest tie feeder. I left the wheelbarrow by it to give you a bit of a size idea. It took me a long day to build this. I uh, used a chainsaw, made the notches. It's all built out of small trees, like this was the base of the tree, that we had to cut down because they were shading my husband's greenhouse. And so, a hay feeder was born. This hay feeder probably cost about five to ten dollars because I did use screws to attach it. Quite a few three inch screws. But it's really sturdy. And it's right next to the fence here. So be able to just toss hay over the fence and we'll set the bale just on the outside. That way we don't have this level of waste anymore. Like, I know it doesn't look like much in the video, but this is probably two or three feet deep. And like, to give you an example, I dug down almost to the ground. It only took them like three days to spread an entire hay bale out that weighed over a thousand pounds and then they were acting hungry again so I kind of just dug down the top layer and I filled up that feeder and I will do it most likely more than once off of what's left here and this is a uh, it's kind of a billy goat raising pen so they were actually coming over here and eating this while I was filling it up I loved it see ya So that was my quick hay bale fix it. it. Took a day, and it only took uh, well, like 20 minutes to wheelbarrow the hay down to it because it's not very far away. All right, maybe that'll help you guys out. Hay feeders are pretty simple; they can be cheap, but building them like that takes a long time. See ya.